I bought this um, 180 watt uh, AC servo with integrated uh, driver uh, a while ago and um, it looks uh, quite nice it's a decently small one but I wanted one with a longer shaft uh, than the steppers and this is actually 31 millimeter I like the way the wires are connected uh, it's just uh, to push them in and that's it no screws needed in this video I will make some quick tests using a pulse generator and a power supply just to see how it works and also to make some measurements of the RPM accuracy. This is the stepper I intend to replace with the servo. Uh, the stepper is quite good but uh, I think a servo would be even better. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the servo is wired up, uh, but uh, I only connect uh, step pulses and uh, the power supply. There is no need for anything else. Uh, the, the servo should spin without any other signals. I will set the stepping frequency quite low to start with, of course, uh, because I want to know the linearity of the RPM also and measure, make notes and calculate at the end. The noise of the motor is as expected quite low, uh, at least at uh, this slow RPM, but I expect it being uh, quite uh, low noise uh, even at uh, the maximum 3000 RPM. This is it at uh, 3000 uh, RPM, uh, the noise is really low, but of course uh, there is no load, so it is no surprise that uh, the noise is also very low at uh, no load. So it's time for some calculations. I calculated the revolution per hertz and also how many hertz needed for one rotation. These calculations are necessary uh, so that I can modify the control box uh, with the new parameters for the servo. On the side of the motor there is a table with the number of pulses per revolution settings uh, but the minimum setting is uh, 800 microsteps per revolution but uh, and, uh, and that's the same as the default also uh, but I want to change it to 400 steps per revolution. Uh, which can be done uh, through the, mo uh, the internal motor parameters. I will do that later on. Some final tests. I will test uh, the 
upper limit of the frequency and see if the alarm turns on which actually happens at around 45 kilohertz uh, and also this parameter can be changed in the motor because the upper limit uh, of the RPM is actually 4200 uh, but uh, currently it's, uh, it's, been, it's set uh, to just a bit above uh, 3000 I also did some uh, torque test uh, at low speed just to see how the current is, uh, consumption is increased but uh, I was actually surprised how uh, little the increase was. I was expecting to jump to whatever the maximum, I think 6 amperes is the maximum for the motor, but that never happened. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you have seen and heard and hopefully see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe to my videos.